Hi, I'm your host, Braylon, and my co-host, Elena. And we're going to be talking about a weird, na- a weird tribe named Kickapoo. The Kickapoo lived in the Michigan area. And don't forget the Ohio area. The Kickapoo lived in small dome-shaped houses called Wickapoos. That's a weird name to call a house. Switching topics, the Kickapoo tribe has a very cool name. Wandering. Wandering. That is a very interesting name. The Kickapoo tribe used bows and arrows. And spears and clubs. The Kickapoo tribe ate different varieties of food like corn, cornbread, beans, and squash, deer, and small game. And if you don't know what small game is, it's like bunnies, deer, and raccoons. The Kickapoo tribe walked over land because there were no horses. It would be horrible without horses. The Kickapoo boys went camping, fishing, and hunting. That's all? Kickapoo moms made corn husk dolls, and mothers sometimes carried the dolls and cradle boards. People still use them today, but they are different. Storytelling was a big tradition to the Kickapoo Indian culture. Well, I read stories in class. Thanks for watching and learning about the Kickapoo tribe. With us. See you next time. Adios, amigos. Oh, oh. Today, we are talking about the Lenape tribe. I'm your host, Jeremy. Along with me is Madison. Now, Madison, do you know what the Lenape tribe means? As a matter of fact, Jeremy, I do. It means people. Now, it's a faraway trip because the Lenape lives in Oklahoma. Really, and in Oklahoma, their houses were wigwams. To fight, they used bows and arrows. They also used war clubs and wooden shields. Now tell me, Jeremy, what did they eat? They ate corn, squash, beans, elk, deer, and turkey. And I know they had fish, soup, cornbread, dump- dumplings, and salads. That's right, Madison. All supporting a healthy diet. Switching topics. What did they use for transportation? They used canoes, snowshoes, and sleds. As fascinating as that is, what did the kids do for fun? They went hunting and fishing with their fathers. I believe they played with dolls, miniature arrows, and bows. While also playing lacrosse and kicking the football. It's kind of odd that they wore beaded headbands. Don't forget with some feathers. What do the Lenape speak? They speak English, but the elders speak Lenape language. Thanks for listening to today's show. That'll be all. Adios. Adios. Our Native American tribe uses the term Potawatomi as the fire keepers. 
Wow, that's a really cool name. Did you know the Potawatomi used wigwams, dome-shaped houses called wigwams, and rectangular-shaped houses called lodges? That was interesting. I thought they lived in teepees. The Potawatomi ate wild rice, berries, deer, elk, and wild birds and fish. Hmm, I love myself some wild berries and rice. Oh, I forgot. They also ate harvest corn, beans, squash, and tobacco. Ew, why would you eat tobacco? Wait, I wonder what they did when they were bored. Oh, they made made arts and crafts like quilt embry, basketries, floral, and beadwork. They also loved to weave. The Potawatomi used bow and arrows and wooden clubs to catch fish. They also used spheres and nets. The Potawatomi used birch-built canoes. Ground bit in ground built canoes. They sure use a lot of canoes. Potawatomi kids would go to school, help around the house, or played with dolls and toys. I love playing with toys when I was younger. The Potawatomi tribe is originally from Ohio and Canada. They probably got cold during the winter. In conclusion, the Potawatomi was a very unique tribe. I loved how they played with toys and dolls. Adios amigos. Oh. Hola, Kroninger Crusaders. It's us. Hey, Hayden. Gianna. And Cameron. Today we will be talking about the Shawnee tribe. We will be talking about stuff like what they eat, weapons, and wool. The word Shawnee comes from the word Shanawa. Do you know what the word Shanawa means? It means Southerner. Shawnee women planted corn and squash. Shawnee men hunted deer and turkey. Hunters and warriors used weapons like bows, arrows, stone tomahawks, and spears. And the fishermen used spear and nets. The original homeland of the Shana, Shawnee was Ohio, Kentucky, and Indiana. But later, the U.S. government moved them to Oklahoma. I bet you thought the Shawnee lived in teepees. They actually lived in wigwams, which are small, round dwellings. Each village had a large council house made of wood. The Shawnee got around from place to place by dugout canoes. They made the canoes by howling, howling large trees. They also used dogs as pack animals. They might think being a Shawnee kid would be boring it was actually pretty fun they played with toys like dolls and games they also like liked playing with each other did you know that the shawnee had a government law had government laws police services like we do today did you also know that shawnee chiefs were always men wow i didn't know any of thing about that. Thanks for watching. I hope you learned about the Shawnee, like what they ate and weapons and more. Adios amigos.
talking about the Miami tribe, and we are not talking about Florida. We are talking about a tribe. Do you know what the Miami tribe na name means? Allies. Wow, good, good job. How did you know? Hey, Chance, do you know what the, the, the Miami tribe eats? Yes. Corn, beans, squash, and they also hunted buffalo. You might think the kids were pretty bored. Yeah, what did they play with? They played with bows, arrows, and also dolls. Did you know the Miami tribe has their own government? No, I did not. I wonder how they got around. Well, since there was rivers, they used canoes. Wow, how cool. It must have been really cold for them in the winter because they did not have long pants. They might have had to wear buffalo fur. The Miami tribe lived in Illinois, Michigan, Ohio, and Indiana. Really? Right here in Indiana? Yes. What kind of houses did they build? I know. They, I know. They built small villages and overall houses. I hope this helped you to, you to learn about the Miami tribe. And if you forget what the name means, well, it is allies. Thank you for listening to your WCKN show. Adios, Adios amigos. amigos. Hello to the Cherokee Show. I'm your host, Jehoga. And I'm your other host, Tony. The Cherokee lived in Georgia and North and South Carolina. And don't forget Virginia, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Hey, do you know what the tribe's name means? Yeah, it means speakers of another language. Oh, wow. And also the Cherokee uses like a lot of cool tools, like bows and arrows, blowguns and spears. They also use tomahawks, flint knives, and wooden hoes. Oh, wow. I guess I missed out of a lot of cool tools. Anyways, let's move on. Okay. Types of food did, what types of food did the Cherokee eat? They ate corn, beans, squash, sunflower seeds, berries, nuts, fruits, cornbread, soups, and stews. They hunted deer, wild turkeys, and fish. Wow, that's a lot of food. They must have huge appetites. Tell me about it. Anyways, let's move on. So let's talk about transportation. They use canoes, dog, dogs as pack animals. And of course, they use cars today. Kids played with each other, went to school, and helped around the house, and hunted with their fathers. And they had chores. They had less time to play and games to play. Also, these are activities. They often fought with their neighbors. I guess they didn't like their neighbors. One of the best people is Sequoia and Wilma Mankiller. Does she kill men? No, it's just a name. Their homes have reinforced walls. It will be hard to break through the walls then. Thanks for watching. We enjoyed your time. I hope you learned what the kids did. Adios, Adios amigos. amigos.